Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here. Uh, thanks again guys, I'm still kind of floating around Cloud9, like just unbelievable. The, the support I've gotten from you guys over the past like year and a half, I guess it's been, even though it feels like a freaking lifetime. Uh, thank you guys, because uh, yeah, from what happened, I mean, they 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 had told me, you know, like you know, they're probably gonna sell, blah blah, you know, and I'm I'm just I was just nervous, guys. I mean, it's a big deal for me. I mean, I I mean, last night it just kind of summed it all up. I saw my knife on the same page with a Silent Soldier flipper, and I was just like, that's that's just it right there. I mean, that's fucking. I mean, just just Brow sending me his blades got me all like, holy shit, like I'm I'm on my way or something, like you know, like something corny, but just seeing my knife actually on Blade HQ. And after, like you guys, years of just like, you know, just scrolling through new releases on, on websites and like, you know, looking for what knife just came out, what's coming out and all that stuff. To see my knife, my knives on there is a goal met in a dream come true. And uh, just thank you guys. And because of that, they want 50 more from me. So that's a big fucking deal, guys. And I mean, stuff is going to get crazy. Um, you're going to see some crazy stuff going on here. And uh, I just thank you guys, seriously, just thank you so much. I mean, I know there's some people out there, you know, they've been hating on me, and then there's people that just, just been supporting me from the from the beginning, and, you know, thanks to both. I don't care. Those trolls out there probably watch my <laughs> videos more than anybody else. But, uh, you know, <sighs> it's crazy, guys, and thank you so much, guys. And the text messages, everyone texting me, just congratulating me. It's just, I appreciate it, guys. I mean, uh... I get a video of me and Vance watching the watching them sell as they sold, uh, just refreshing, and I'll, I'll probably put that up at some time. It's kind of funny. Uh, we're just sitting there, just pressing refresh, and just watching each time we press refresh, one of them would go. And uh, I think uh, uh, Bleedish Q had talked to him today, and I was like, "So did I break any records?" They're like, "I think so." And uh, they told me that the 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 ropes one sold in 30 seconds. <laughs> so. Uh, I can see which one you guys like the best, so, and then, uh, followed by the concealed carry, but I think I told you guys that already. I'm just excited, guys, I'm sorry. But, uh, as you can see in front of here, I didn't get, I got a bunch of stuff I'm working on today. I got two striders I'm working on, one of them is Juju's, and Juju, dude, you know, I, I started over with it, and, and this is just nuts. I mean, you're gonna see this, and you're just gonna shit yourself, I hope. I mean, well, if you ate Little Caesars earlier in the day, <laughs> you probably will shit yourself. So, uh... So yeah, um, that's a thing there. So also guys, I'm gonna be selling this one if anybody wants it. You know, it's going for, I gotta say like 320 or something like that. But uh, if you do buy it, I'm gonna have to hold on to it for at least two weeks uh, to make another one. So, uh, not not make it fully so you won't be waiting that long. I'm just gonna make uh, basically a, a uh, cutout of it so I can have a template for it. But I need to uh, get some extra cash going for some things that I got going on. That's going to be even crazier if it works out. And I'll let you guys know as soon as as soon as I know that. Uh, and Naomi and Vance are not getting married. I saw all your comments, and I'm glad Vance addressed that before before it got to that point. So thank you for that, guys. So uh, anyway, so you see here, uh, almost finished. This one's going out tomorrow. Uh, just needs to be basically. Uh, you know, sandblasted, fallout treatment. I'm gonna redo the blade because uh, I've been using, I've been putting it back together, uh, getting some scuffs and stuff. Just needs to dip it for another, like a minute, just to fill in any like little spots like that. Um, just some hardware shortening and uh, just a pattern here, and uh, it's good to go. Funny thing is, I made this one again and again. It's not fitting, but I know exactly why. <laughs> just an easy, easy, quick fix. So. No problem at all. Probably could have done it in the first one, but I'm a dumbass, so. And this one, Chosen 7X7. This, along with a gang of shit, is coming to you. i take these out tomorrow. So you get number two. And here's mine with no hardware left. Just just uh, scales and the blade. But I got plenty. I just got to cut them down and blast them again. And here's my tough toad just sitting here. Tough toad lock. This thing got nice and, you know, like smoother. Well, it's not smoother, but... You know, it, it was hard to open and close before I unlock it, but it's tie on tie, so pretty sweet. I'm going to start working on some of these, I think, uh, next coming months or something like that, I hope. It's definitely a blade going out in heat treat. 
So um, the one thing I did do today, I'm very proud of. It is a it was is a weird toad that's kind of been hanging out. It's a mix between the old toads and the and the war toad. Um, uh, these are refurbished guys. Uh, they've been, you know, they were sent back for, you know, I think both of them. This one needed a pivot screw, and this one needed some work to it. Uh, this one was probably the most terrible, terrible one I've ever made, and I definitely fixed it up and made it look better. I reshaped everything, um, acid etched the blade, you know, stone washed. It looks better. I'm gonna put a backspacer in here before I send it out tomorrow. Sandblasted all stuff. This one didn't do too much to it. Uh, the the grinds on these were, I mean, the first ones. The grinds were just absolutely horrendous, and I, uh, I don't know what. I mean, Anonymous did them. I guess at the time I thought it was good, um, and maybe he did too, or maybe he just hates me. But who knows, guys? It was, they were terrible. And uh, if you want to send it back to get regrind, feel free to. I mean, I know they do work, but I mean, it was just kind of unacceptable the way they were. I mean, I didn't realize, but it's still convex. It's just a full high convex. Uh, re stonewash this one and everything needs to put an edge on it, but you know, it's cleaned everything up cleaned up some corners and edges make it look better Make it function better better hardware Both of them Just Some tweaks here and there. So these will be coming back as well uh, This guy needs to give me a text message With your address there was no note with the with the, with the toad so Okay so on to that, and then uh, Riley, I'm working on your bench made. Just uh, taking a little bit of time. I'm almost done it, and uh, yeah. So yeah, back to I'm all over the place, guys. Sorry. This toad was ordered from like when I was moving, so it got got mixed up, and it's a weird toad. It's the only one of its kind. It's an S30V blade. Uh, they're usually the AB-L, which they probably never will be again. Uh, or the CPM 154 or my 1D2. So this one's S30, special request. Uh, paid a little bit extra, I wanted wood scales. And I didn't like the idea of wood scales from the beginning. I kinda did, but at the same time, I just didn't see it working out real well. So he said to go with what you want, and over time, it's kinda just changed in my head. And today, I just tackled it head on and uh, came up with something different, and it changed the whole, my whole outlook on just the toads. I mean, the war toads and the toads are different. They're gonna be different different knives so the the toads will be the g10 or carbon fiber on both sides the war toads will have titanium on one side with a thick blade the, these will have a thick blade but not not as thick as a war toad but the same basic shape you'll see with this i think i'm going to use this as like basically what the toads will look like just the regular toads i'm very happy with this because i wasn't happy with the blade shape because i'd moved on from that uh to the war toad shape and uh basically this one was a little bit bigger so i had more to work with but uh, this is what I came up with, guys. I'll show you one side first, but the other side, it's just absolutely incredible. I love it so much. So you got your stone wash, this, uh, dark acid wash blade, S30V, full flat grind. A small swedge, nothing huge, but just, uh, but as you can see, the shape is a little bit different than the, than the war toads are. A little bit more organic, less angle, angular. Uh, and you can see the shape of the handles are different too. Here's the war toad. A tough toad. Incredibly comfortable. It's like a almost like a pistol grip, and just oh, it is just perfect, guys. Uh, I kind of contoured with the. Sh it kind of just worked out this way because I had to shape it in the shape of the material I used on the other side. Yeah. So this is the Royal Toad, guys. This is the Royal Treatment. So you can see those purples and blues in there. I don't know if you can make it out on camera. But that is Damascus steel. Not heat treated. I got the super expensive pivots on this one. They are bronzed and polished around the flats. Uh, you can see those purples. Uh, off camera you can see blues, golds, grays, but it just looks awesome. I love it. And then the backspacer is just like a really nice deep purple with like gold stripes in there. And uh, the tang on this one's really cool. First time I ever did this. Uh, the tang is nice and short, really slim. 
and uh, just really easy to flip open. Well, not flip open, but to get open because you can open it with your index finger a lot easier. And just like really sleek. I just love it. I'm probably going to play this video until the camera is about to die, so I'm just going to show this. And the backspacer pops out a little bit there. There's a lot of detail in this Damascus, and Gavco provided the Damascus. Thank you, dude, again. Uh, I think he was expecting me to do some little blades with it, but I was just like, nope. Bolsters and scales. It's going to be sick. And uh, this is my first time really working with Damascus, so. So the Royal Toad, new toad shape, it's a lot more comfortable. Yeah, you definitely can't, I can't pick up the colors on camera, guys, but there's this really rich purples in between all the lines. And I used a different process uh, to do that, to get that to come out. I just love this thing, guys. I just really want to keep this. So Dave, man, this is going to be coming at you, dude. I'm probably going to keep it uh, till Monday because I need to make another one to have a template as well. But, uh, you know, I just, uh, and I also don't want to par with it right away. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I do need to make a template for it, so. And I'm going to a knife show this weekend. I'd like to bring it with me. Uh, there's a knife show in Easton, Pennsylvania, guys. Uh, I don't know anything about it other than there's a knife show. So I'm probably just going to go to it just for the hell of it with Gavco when he cuts over here again. So, we'll see what happens to that. Get some footage of that. A smaller knife show. See how that turns out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the new shape of the toads. Remember, these are tough toads. The uh, war toads are different. So... Thanks for watching. Peace.